Hi! How are you guys? Um, this is yet another tutorial because I have no idea what other songs to cover or what else to do, but I was asked to do another tutorial on a song of mine. So that's what this is. As you can see in the title, uh, it's called The Closing Song, and so here that is. Hello and welcome back to this weird angle at my piano. Okay, so this song is probably the most complicated one that I have. It has, like, many different parts to it, like, things that sound completely different from one another. Uh, there's, like, an intro that sounds completely different to when it starts into the verse. So, I'll have to go, like, through each one individually. So, we'll start with the intro. The basic chords throughout the entire thing are the same, even though there's different orders that sound very different. So, there's four chords that I end up using in this, and I'm pretty sure they have uh, different names than what I'm going to call them, but as you know, I'm not that skilled in piano, so I'm just going to call them the main major letter that is in the chord. So, I'm going to call this C, the C chord. So, you're going to start on C, down here. You're going to put another finger on E next to it, and then one up here on A. So, skip 1, 2, A. So that's the first chord. So the second chord is the same finger positions moving down two chords. So your pinky on A, your next finger on C, and then skip to F. The third chord is G. And it's very similar. It's G, uh, put a finger down on B, and then skip two, go to E. But instead of being on B here, you're going to move one up to C. So it's the only chord that changes, and all the changes is the middle one, the middle note, is up one higher than the others. So I'll call that the G chord. And then lastly is B, it's back to the exact same position you were using for the others, and that is B, D, skip to G. So all together, C chord, A chord, G chord, B chord. So, the intro is going to be in that order, uh, along with hitting those major notes that I said, that I named the chords as, up here. So I think it's two octaves higher. So you're going to start with C and hit C at the same time. So it's going to sound like this. And then you're going to hit C right after you hit this one, so it's going to sound like this. Then A, you do the same thing. Hit A. Then for the G one, instead of hitting G, you're going to hit E up here. And then back just to B. So you do that once, and then you start doing a little trill up and down, but it's not a very complicated one. So it's C, D, C. C, D, C. So you're going to do the C chord. C, D, C, A chord. C, D, C, G chord. C, G. Then go up an entire octave to the next G, which is here. And then back to D. So, C, G, G, D. Right after you hit D, you do the B chord. You don't wait. B, D. And you're already on D, so it goes D, E, D, C. So all together, the intro, after that it starts the verse. So all together. And then you hit the C chord to start. So it's C, D, E, C, D, E, C, D, E, D, E, D, C. And on C, you hit the C chord again. C, C, D, E, C, G, E. Then you 
that thing with C D E. C D C on the G chord as well. And then B with B. So that's the like intro part. So uh the verse the words for that is just so you know like the pattern to go with. Hearts move on. Stories end, but I didn't realize ours had began. Poison thoughts, that CGE is fill my mind. I was just sitting here editing and noticed I completely left out a piece of the song, so um, I'm gonna use my phone and just go record that right now. Um, so yeah, I hear that part is. <laughs> okay, right before the chorus, there's a small piece that goes, I don't want to blink, because all you can do with your eyes closed is think. So, to do this, you do use both hands, however, since I'm filming with my phone, I can't, so it's gonna be a little, a little off sounding. But what you do is, with your right hand, you're gonna be hitting just single notes. So it's E, F, E, C, A, I don't wanna blink. On blink, you're gonna do the A chord with your uh, left hand, uh, like that. Uh, at the same time, you hit A, um, and then it's, cause all you can do with your eyes closed is think. Cause, he's on C, all you can. All you can, you're gonna hit the C chord. All you can do with your B chord. Do with your, do with your. So, all you can, E, D, C. And it ends in C. You're hitting the C chord when you start E. Uh, do with your D, C, B. You're hitting. The B chord starting with D. Do with your. And then it's C, B, G, A. Eyes closed is think. And then you hit C once. So I just finished editing that part in that I had missed. I recorded it and everything, and then uh, I hit play and. I missed another part, the entire first chorus. Uh, I end up teaching you how to do the chorus right after I teach you to do the first verse, but a chorus should be here, and instead of doing it fast, how I end up teaching you in it, just hit each chord once. I do it multiple times in the other one. The only thing that changes between the two choruses is this one is supposed to be slow. Just hitting each chord with both hands once, and that one's supposed to be fast. And then, oh wait, no, actually, you hit the chord once, and then you hit on your right hand the note that I named the chord after. So this is all we know. I just tapped here. All on all, you hit it. Uh, you hit the C chord all we know and then hit C the note C with your right hand and just do that for all the others I hope that made sense let me know if it doesn't okay. and then we're gonna go on to the part that's the same for both verses so there's like a little trill on these when you are being introduced to the verse so you're gonna do the C chord on both hands. So, one, two, and then the third one, you only do down here. One, two, three, C, D, E. Then go down to A. One, C, D, E. You hit it twice with this. What I do is I do the same hand position for the other notes on the upper one for the first hit. So G, B, E, 
And then for the second hit, I go back to G, C, E, but I stay on G, C, E on the hand down here, on the left hand. C, D, E, and then B. Ooh, sorry. Ooh, I'm not playing it right, that's why. And that is the uh, trill thing over here. So you do that once, being introduced to the first verse, and then the entire verse is just hitting it with both hands. We built our home. Sorry, this like tripod's in the way. We built our homes from bricks and stones that we found on our trip around the world. Now they're just darkened halls made of frozen, sorry, frozen walls, broken down, left to be a battle shield 20 years from now. We'll reach the top, our eyes will swell, fill with tears as morning bells sing along with dawn's return. We both drowned and we both burned now. That it's all settled down. Then just hit B once. One, two, three, with B. And then it's just very fast paced. This is C chord, all we know. A chord, all we've seen. G chord, the light fades out from the B chord, silver screen. Then just do that same thing. Everything was just make believe. A simple story made from just you and me. And basically, I just do what I feel like. There's no exact pattern I do. Sometimes it changes. But as long as you're hitting it maybe like three times each chord, you're good. Uh, so when the chorus finish, finished, closing song. Close. Closing song begins, begins, and that when it says begin, you go back to the hitting it. One, ooh, you go when it says begin, you go back to the hitting the chords twice. C D E. So you do that trill thing again, and you do it twice intro into this verse, and then the verse is exactly the same. Uh, when you play it out, but then it fades into the bridge. It doesn't go to the chorus again from this one. Um, what it does this time is, uh, sorry, let me just think of the, <laughs> the verse. Oh, can we go home? B, do a little like B, D, G, hit one each separate, but very close to one another. And so what we're going to do now is hitting each chord. We made it out alive. You hit it twice. We made it out alive. C. We saw the bright blue sky. G. And we realized there was so much more than you and I on the line. When you say line, you stop doing it down here, and it's just up here. Out on the line. And then you do the thing that we've been doing going into the verse, but it's slow. And uh, for the last B, you just hit it once. You don't do the trill on B. And meanwhile, you're also doing it down here. I just wanted to focus up here and show you what I meant by doing the trill slow. So you are doing it at the same time. So it's the same thing like that. And then you just do the chorus slowly. And then when it ends, the closing song. It has an end trill. To end, it's C, D, E, G. C. It ends on C there, like that note. And that's it. Ta-da! That's that. Uh, I hope it helped you if you used it, if you wanted it.
And um, I'll see you guys tomorrow or the next day because guess what? It's almost been a year since I made this channel. So I want to make a little special video saying thank you to everyone that's watched. Uh, but yeah, I'll see you then. Goodbye. And then we do the same thing going down to A. Uh. Hello? Hi. Yeah, but mom's at the school. She's gonna pick you guys up. I don't know, she just said she like left five minutes ago, said she was gonna go wait in the line. She, is, there's probably a line. Uh huh. Adios. Uh, her phone's being weird. Bye. You start doing a little trill up and down, but it's not a very complicated one. All you're gonna do is C, D, C. Holy shit!